All right, so I'm the one. Before I get started with this lesson, I'm going to give all praises, glory, and honor unto Yahweh, Bashim Yahweh Shai, Bashim Kakudash. Double honors to the elder apostles of Grand Millstone and Shalom to Allah Hakim in his truth and sincerity. And I'm just going to do this lesson as you can see here. The title is The ICBMs in the Bible, okay? All right, because right now we're living in the time of World War III. And uh, according to Bible prophecy, World War III uh, is the war to end all wars. All right. The war it's known as uh, the third woe. OK. In uh, Revelation, uh, Revelation 8 and Revelation 9, it's known as the third woe. OK. The, the first and second woe, that was World War One and World War Two. The, the third woe, that's the world, the war to end all wars. OK. Which is World War Three. All right. And um, uh, ultimately, it's going to end in thermonuclear destruction. All right. And I'm going to begin. I'm going to get Revelation 9. All right. Without further ado. Revelation 9. And verse. Nineteen. Well. I'll start at start at 16 Revelation 9 is 16 it says and the number of the army uh, should I start at 15 no I'll start at 16 so lucky it says and the number of the army of the horsemen were 200,000 thousand and I heard the number of them all right it says on the NLT, I heard the size of their army, which was 200 million mounted troops. And that's not actually speaking about actual horsemen. It's not actually, it's not literal uh, horsemen. Okay. It's not, it's not a literal army in the, in the uh, traditional sense, if you will. All right. It's not an actual standing army. It's, it's speaking about the missiles. Okay. Because uh, the myth. The Heavenly Father, which his name, his true name is Yahweh, but Hashem Yahweh Shai, which Yahweh Shai is the, the true name of, of his only begotten son, all right, the Savior, all right. They're, they're known, Yahweh, why Yahweh Shai, Yahweh, but Hashem Yahweh Shai is known as the Lord of Hosts, which means the Lord of Armies, okay, because he has multiple armies. He has the armies of heaven, which are the angels, and on earth, he also has an army. Uh, which is the 144,000 and the, and the the elect uh, men of Israel. Those are also a part of the army. But then also he has an army of missiles. Okay, because Yahweh Hashem Shah put the spirit on these uh, scientists to create the missiles. And let me get that as a matter of fact. Uh, let me just get that real quick. Isaiah 54. Isaiah 54 and 16. Behold, I have created the smith that bloweth the coals and the fire. All right, so the smith would be known as uh, the, the, the scientist, okay? The scientist that discovered the the elements needed to create the nuclear missiles and, and the, the process it took to, to, to create uh, the missiles. The Lord created those scientists. He put the spirit on those scientists to, to, to do that, all right? He put the spirit on those scientists to do that because in the book of Job, it says, uh, roughly paraphrasing, when, when deep sleep, when you go into deep sleep, uh, the Lord seals your instructions for what for what you're going to do. So the Lord put put it on the spirit of the, the, the scientists, the Germans, OK, which are the Edomites. All right. And in particular, uh, Teman, the Edomites uh, that are Temans, Temanites. Salakia. Those are the Germans. And that's who created the, those missiles. But the Lord put the spirit on them. So ultimately, the Lord created the missiles. All right. It says, Isaiah 54 and 16. It says, Behold, I have created the smith that bloweth the coals in the fire and that bringeth forth an instrument for his work. And I have created the waster to destroy. So that's speaking about the, the thermonuclear missiles. All right. It started off as atomic and now it, it has uh, developed into a, a nuclear, which 
uh, I don't know how how many times multiplied it is fr from from atomic, but it has to be hundreds of thousands of times more powerful, if not millions of times more powerful than atomic weapons. All right. Okay, they, they haven't tested any of these new ones yet. The, the last missiles they tested was back in the 80s, and those were, were, were humongous. All right. The missiles they have today, the mushroom cloud probably reaches damn near to, 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 to the heavens, to, to damn near to the stratosphere. That's how big the goddamn mushroom clouds probably are. All right. But, uh, yeah, that's what that's speaking about it. Uh. And let me read the next verse because ultimately the elect it, it will be protected from that destruction, all right, via salvation. That's what salvation is all about, man, ultimately, okay? It's not about a wacky, tacky Christian saying, oh, oh, oh I'm saved. I've already been saved, so I, I, could, I could go eat pork. I could, I could shave my beard. I could do whatever I want. I've been saved. No, that's not what salvation is. Salvation is being saved from that thermonuclear destruction, all right? Verse 17. This is for the elect. It says, no weapon that is formed against thee shall prosper. So those missiles aren't going to prosper against us, all right, us that are in this knowledge and wisdom, all right, because Lord willing, if we're of the elect, the chariots, the chariots of, of the Most High, which the world ignorantly calls UFOs, will beam us up before that, that destroying wind hits us, all right, right before that, that, that destroying wind uh, hits us, that, that nuclear wind that fire right right before the moment, but, but by the skin of our teeth, man, right before it hits us, the, the chariot is going to beam us up. So that's why it says, no weapon formed against thee shall prosper, and every tongue that shall rise against thee in judgment, thou shalt condemn. condemn. All right, because these Edomites, they're, 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 uh, their tongue is rising against us in judgment. All right, they're trying to they're trying to judge us in wickedness. They're trying to paint paint the Israelites as, as being uh, a problem. All right. They're trying to make, make it like we're the problem of the earth. Like we're the worst thing going. They're trying to demonize us. OK, look what they try to do uh, with Kanye and Kyrie. And it completely backfired on them. All right. It totally backfired. Every The people are, are, are on Kanye's side. The people are, are on Kyrie's side, all right? They're not taking the side of you, you, you small hats, you Amalekites, all right? Which Amalek, that's the, that's the, the chief house of the Edomites, of Satan, all right? They're, they're literally the top of the wicked, all right? They're the worst of, of, of the heathen, but that's why it says, and every tongue that shall rise against thee in judgment, thou shalt condemn, and we're condemning you, you damn devils, all right? Through the spirit and power of Yahweh Bashem Yahushai. All of your counsel is about to be uh, done away with, all right? Nothing's going to, uh, nothing that you devils are planning is going to uh, uh, prosper. You're going to fall in the pit that you dug. It says, this is the heritage of the servants of the Lord, Yahweh Ba'ashim Yahushai, and their righteousness is of me, saith the Lord. So that's of the elect. Okay, that's just a little balance because that great destruction is coming, but also a great salvation. Revelation 9 and 17, it says, the, uh, and, I, and thus I saw the horses in the vision, and them that sat on them having breastplates of fire and of jacinth and brimstone. All right, that's speaking about the missiles, all right, the, 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 the uranium, okay, the, the plutonium, the elements that, that they used to make those uh, missiles. All right. So it says, and the heads of the horses were as the heads of a lot of lions and out of their mouths it issued fire and smoke and brimstone. So that's how America is going to be destroyed all right, by, by fire and brimstone by way of the thermonuclear missiles. OK, that's the only weapon on, on Earth that could wipe out a whole landmass. And, and if you going back to, to verse uh, 16, there's there's 200 million of them that's going to hit America. So America is going to be wiped off the face of the earth. All right. Just one missile could, could take out America, but 200 million. <laughs> Come on, man. Just one missile would be enough, but the Lord's going to send 200 million to wipe out America. And that's going to change the way the whole earth looks. All right. The whole earth, just like when, when the flood hit, 
it, it broke up all the continents. All right, because before the flood, the earth was was known as Pangaea. It was just one continent, but the flood broke up all the continents. So when those 200 million missiles hit America, that's going to change the whole planet. All right, but America is never going to be built back up. It's going to be a perpetual desert, a perpetual destruction forever. It says, and the the heads of the horses were as the heads of lions, and out of their mouth issued fire and smoke and brimstone. All right, so it said the heads were like lions because a lion ha has has uh, teeth. Okay, it, it has uh, that's that's a lion's uh, main uh, weapon, their teeth. So those missiles, the heads of them, which is the warhead, that's where the power is. All right, that's because if you if you shot a, 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 a ICBM without the the nuclear warhead, nothing will happen. It's just gonna crash. But if you if you have a warhead, that's gonna cause incalculable destruction. It says, verse 18, by these three were the third, was the third part of men killed. And the third part of men is speaking about the Edomites, the so-called white men. All right, because you got the sons of, of the righteous, the sons of God, the sons of, of man, which are the other nations. And then you got the, son, the sons of the wicked, which is the Edomites. So that's the third part of man. All right, because America which is like the main headquarters of the Edomites today, all right? It's the, the, chief, the, chief, uh, the chief country of the Edomites is America. So that, that's why it says that. It says, by, by these three was the third part of men killed, and by, by, by the fire, and by the smoke, and by the brimstone, which issued out of their mouths. All right, and the Lord already brought a, a similar destruction to Sodom and, and Gomorrah. That was just like a foreshadowing of what's about to happen. All right. So the Lord already had had the capability of, of, of splitting atoms back then, but now he's doing it through the missiles. It says, verse 19, for their power is in their mouth and their tails and their tails for their tails were like unto serpents and had heads and with them, they do hurt. Because as I mentioned, the warhead is what, that's the thing that causes the destruction, the warhead. All right. But it says, and I got a picture. It says, let me read that first part again. It says, for their power is in their mouth and their tails. And I got a, a picture just to give you a visual of that. All right. So right here, this is what it was speaking about when it said that their power is in their, is in their head. All right, speaking about the warhead. All right, for their power is in their mouth. Okay, so essentially that's speaking about the warheads, the nuclear warheads. That's that's what's going to really destroy America, those 200 million warheads. All right, because one nuclear missile could have multiple warheads. All right, so that's wh why it says the power is in their mouth. Their mouth, because your mouth has teeth. All right. If you if you re read up, uh, uh, if you read up, it says uh, their heads were like lions, and then it says their power is in their mouth because uh, the power of a lion is their teeth, their bite force. So the power of the of the destruction is coming is, is the nuclear warheads. All right, just to give you a visual, and this is how America is going to be destroyed. All right, Russia, Russia, and and all their allies, okay, and even America's own allies, they don't have those missiles for no reason. All right, they're gonna use them. All right, and then this one too, dot, where it says the uh the power is in their mouth and their tail. Okay, it says it's in their tail because that's how the the missiles are are, are thrusted. Okay. The, the 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 rocket uh, thrusters. All right. Yeah. See, the thrust. You got the, the 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 thrusters, which pushes the missile. That's why it says the power is in their mouth and their tails. Okay. All right, and then I'm gonna read this part. It says, "For their tails were like unto serpents." And had heads and with them they do hurt so it says their tails are like serpents because when you look at a missile being launched 
when you see the, the fire of the of the thrust of the thrust of the missile, it looks like a serpent. All right, it looks like a a, a glowing serpent. All right, because you have to understand when John the Revelator was seeing all this, he he was describing it the best way he could. All right, so the best way he could describe the the thrusting power is is it look like a serpent, which it does, as you can see here. It looks like a long, fiery serpent. That's why he said the power is in their mouth and in their tail, the warhead and in the thrust. So this is nuclear missiles written in the Bible, man. Okay. Uh, reading on. Oh, well, that's, that's the point. All right, I'm going to get the next scripture, which is Jeremiah 50, Jeremiah 50 and 14. All right. Jeremiah 50. And 14, it says, put yourselves in array against Babylon round about all ye that bend the bow. Shoot at her. Spare no arrows, for she hath sinned against the Lord. Yahweh by Hashem Yahweh Shai. So this is speaking about, as I mentioned, Russia and all their allies. Okay, all the allies of Russia, China, uh, North Korea. Okay, uh, 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 Syria, uh, Turkey, uh, India, all these different nations, bro. Cuba, they're about to launch missiles on America because Babylon is America. It says, put yourselves in array against Babylon round about all ye that bend the bow. When it says bend the bow, that's speaking about the missile, all right? The bow is speaking about the, the missile silos, okay, where the missile is launched from. That's the bow. The arrow is the actual missile itself, okay, and the arrow head is the warhead, all right? So it says, for she hath sinned against the Lord, shout against her round about. She hath given her hand, her foundations are fallen, her walls are thrown down. Okay, because the, their missile defense system is going to fail them. All right, they, they, they like to try to boast about their, their missile defense system, but it's not it's not going to work against those missiles. All right, because the Heavenly Father, he's going to destroy America. So or whatever the whatever the will of the Father is, it's going to it will be done. Like Yahweh Shah said, he said, I will be done on earth as it is in heaven. So it's, it's the will of the Lord for America to be destroyed. So nothing is going to stop those missiles. It says, for it is the vengeance of the Lord, Yahweh Bahashim Yahweh Shai. Take vengeance upon her as she have done, do unto her. All right, because all the wickedness that the, the Edomites have done here in America, all right, uh, beginning with uh, slaughtering the, uh, the, the so called natives, which are Israelites, those are our people, the 12 tribes of Israel. They slaughtered the natives, they enslaved them, and then they brought the, the so called Negroes, which are. The Jews, the real Jews, Judah, Benjamin, and Levi over here on slavery, and they murdered millions. Okay, millions upon millions upon millions, way more than, way more than six six hundred million. That's th those are rookie numbers. All right, that's nothing. All right. So, as as she have done, do unto her. So that's why it's such a great destruction is, is about to take place. Second Ezra sixteen. I think in 13, 2nd Ezra 16 and 13. 2nd Ezra chapter 16 and verse 13. I start at 12, 2nd Ezra 16 and 12. The earth quaketh and the foundations thereof. The sea ariseth up with waves from the deep and the waves of it are poor are troubled and the fishes thereof also before the Lord and before the glory of his power. All right, because the missiles, man, the missiles is going to literally shake the whole planet. It says in Isaiah, I believe it's the, the 20th chapter that the earth shall reel, reel to and fro like a drunkard. So the, the, that, the power from those 200 million warheads is going to be so powerful. Literally, the whole planet Earth is going to be shaking. All right. It's going to be as if the Most High is has the earth in his hand and he's just shaking it as hard as he can. That's literally how it's going to be. And if we're of the elect, Lord willing, we're going to be watching it from the chariots. All right. We're going to be uh, 
from, from in a safe distance away from it. <laughs> We're going to be a safe distance away from that destruction, just watching the earth sh uh, shake back and forth violently. All right, this is going to be a terrible judgment, all right? That's why it's the war to end all wars, because after this, there's never going to be a, a great judgment like that ever again. Because after that, the kingdom of heaven will be established and righteousness is going to uh, take take over the earth forever, man. It's going to be a righteous, never-ending kingdom, all right? The kingdom of Yahweh Shai, all right? With King David underneath Yahweh Shai and the rest of the 144,000 under King David. So th this is why we're, we're so eagerly waiting for this this destruction which was prophesied to happen, okay? This is all of the Lord's doing. All we're doing is just bringing out the scriptures, okay? Because they're going to try to demonize us and, and say that, that uh, we're, we're, we're making threats or whatever. No, we're just bringing out the scriptures. This, the Bible said that, all right? Just like uh, Sodom and Gomorrah was destroyed, that's all the doing of the Lord. We're just the messengers, all right? The old saying goes, don't hurt the messenger. That don't uh don't kill the messenger. Alright. We're just delivering a message. But these devils are gonna try it anyway. But that's when that the Lord's gonna lift up that standard against these devils when they try to come after us. And he's gonna give us spiritual powers. Alright. Which spiritual powers are, are essentially superpowers. Like you you look at uh X-Men uh comics, alright? But the Lord's going to lift up a standard when they come against us. But reading on, it says, verse 13, For strong is his right hand that bendeth the bow. His arrows that he shooteth are sharp and shall not miss when they begin to be shot into the ends of the world. So what, what lets you know, what lets you know that these aren't talking about literal arrows is you can't shoot an arrow from one end of the, from one end of the earth to the other. So this isn't speaking about literal arrows. This is speaking about the nuclear missiles, man. All right, those are the arrows, and the bow is the, the nuclear silos, which the, the the missiles are launched out of. All right, it says, "Behold, the plagues are sent, and they shall not return again until they come upon the earth." The ultimate plague is the nuclear missiles. The fire is kindled and shall not be put out till it consume the foundation of the earth. All right. And that's not saying that the whole earth is going to be destroyed. As I mentioned, only America will be destroyed. Because it says in Ecclesiastes 1 and 7, I believe that the earth abideth forever. So the earth, the whole planet earth won't be destroyed. Only America and certain other part, certain other parts of the earth is going to get hit too. But America is the only part that, that will never be built back up. The land of Israel is going to get hit with missiles. All right. But the land of Israel, that's that's the Holy Land. So it's going to be built back up after that great destruction. All right. And we're eagerly waiting for this, man. We're hastening the day of the coming of the day of the Lord. We want this to happen, man. We want all hell to break loose. We want the MOTB, the CHIP to be made uh, mandatory. Because when when the, when that that when that when that chip is made mandatory, man, that's when this destruction will come shortly after. It says, verse sixteen, like as an arrow which is shot of a mighty archer returneth not backward, even so the plays that shall be sent upon the earth shall not return. So once those missiles are flying in the air, that's it, man. America's gonna be destroyed. The Lord willing, we're of the elect, we will be saved. So I end off with Isaiah 26 and 20. All right. Just to get some balance in there. Because it's not all doom and gloom, man. If we're of the elect, if we endure to the end, we will be saved from that destruction. So Isaiah 26 and 20. All right, Isaiah chapter 26. Verse 20, it says, Come, my people, enter thou into thy chambers. And shut the doors about thee, hide thyself as it were for a little moment, until the indignation be overpassed. All right. So when it says enter down into the into thy uh into thy chambers, it's speaking about as I mentioned the chariots of the Most High, which the world ignorantly labels UFOs. They're really the chariots, the vehicles of the angels. All right, the vehicles of the gods, if you will. 
All right, because cause this, this so-called white man can have vehicles, but the most high can't have a vehicle. The most high God that created everything, he, he, he's, he's, he's limited. He can't have a vehicle. <laughs> the devil can have a vehicle, but he can't. No, the Lord does have vehicles, and that's what the world ignorantly calls UFOs, which are the church. And that's how we're going to be saved from that destruction. It says, until the, the indignation be overpassed. So we're going to be up there in, in, in space, all right, outside of the earth, as I mentioned, from a safe distance, until the indignation be overpassed, until the, that fire dies down, all right, until the earth is, is habitable again. Okay? It says, for behold, the Lord cometh out of his place to punish the inhabitants of the earth. That's why he's going to bring this, bring this destruction, to punish the inhabitants of the earth. For their iniquity, the earth also shall disclose her blood and shall no more cover her slain. So, Lord willing, this lesson was edifying to the elect of the nation of Israel. Again, going to give all praises, glory, and honor to Yahweh, Bahashim Yahweh Shai, Bahashim Kakudash, double honors to the elder apostles of Grammar